you just jump on the YouTube thing and make sure it's in the control room. G'day, ladies and gentlemen. The Butts Barn here. Hope you're doing real well. Welcome to Cancer Me Now. I'm here with Bluey uh, as we are each and every week. And I tell you what, what a time it's been. What a year it's been. What a life <laughs> it's been. We're, we're on the beers here this afternoon with uh, two other individuals. Uh, I just want to get a, a voice check uh, from the great Bluey Nielsen. Uh, can we get a voice check? I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. What happened to your voice, <clears throat> mate? It's been a lot of... It's a long weekend, mate. I've been fair up the piss since Friday. Fucking oath. And yeah. you're, uh, are you okay? Is everything all right? I'm all right now. I was I was touch and go this morning. Fucking pretty late late finish last night after the NRL Grand Final. Um, yep. Yeah, it was touch and go this morning, but obviously you very generously put the podcast on late. Give me time to... Well, normally we don't have the podcast on a Monday, uh, but we we thought we would today. Cracking the beers, we've got the Steel City beers going at the moment. Very nice, and I'm, I'm, you may notice that I'm currently not even looking at the camera. The reason I'm doing that is to share this uh, to Patreon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to join us on Patreon, it is only a dollar a month. We made that change, so we're back to a dollar a month. We've done it. If you have are paying two dollars a month on Patreon, geez, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks, fellas. Nice. <laughs> uh, but it would. Uh, but I, I'm going to share this to Patreon right now, and then I'll shut the fuck up. But we also have two very important and sexual guests today. Uh, the great Matt Reddy, uh, no. one of my greatest mates uh, that I've ever had. He's a beautiful person. I love him dearly. And uh, John, is it? It could be John. Yeah, that's now, fine. And John Buck Paluka. Uh, we'll run with JB. Or oh, Paluka's good. P- JB. You happy with JB? JB's fine. Jables. Okay. Now, JB is also a very dear friend of mine. I've known him for a very long time. Gave me my start in stand-up, uh, and that's why he's here today. He's now uh, the owner of Smart People Promotions, is it? Smart Artist. Oh, sorry. Sorry, mate. It's just, it's on your, I know it's on your hat. Yeah, right, what yeah. are you now? You're now a venue photographer. Uh, basically, mate. More sport and action. If it moves, I can shoot it sort of thing. I don't do weddings. <laughs> yeah, mainly sport, cars, bikes, that type of thing. Love yep. it. Yeah, so you're taking lots of photos. And Reddy, you're still teaching? Yeah, still teaching. Fucking Very hate nice. teachers. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah, so so, so does Reddy. Yeah. So what do we think of the... Uh, and we've got a new bloke on the buttons. We've got uh, Gabe. Gabe's over there. We Gabe. Don't, we, we, hey, Gabe. Hey, bro. How are you, mate? We've got... So any um, any problems with the uh, with with the stream, you can send them to Gabe. And J- Gabe, if you... Jabo, if you jump in that control room, you'll be able to see all the live comments as well. Uh, if you go into live, it should be in there. Can you see it? Just refresh the page. It's a bad dog. start, Gabe. It's a bad start for Gabe. <laughs> Big, gay Gabe. <laughs> Big gay Gabe. Big <laughs> Gabe. Not gay Gabe. Uh, there it is. So jump into the control room and then you'll have a beautiful live podcasting. Uh, and you'll be out. And so, ladies, if you are here on the... Ladies. <laughs> and gentlemen. I, I would hazard a guess that there are fuck all women listen to this podcast. <laughs> what do you reckon our breakdown is of males and females? There, there wouldn't be fuck all, but there would not be many. I don't and think. if you are a woman listening to this, you're a good woman. Can you get stats on that? Yeah, we can get stats. We can get oh, stats. Can we, all, can we all say what we think it would be and then can we get... All right, well, you guys keep the convo going. And I I'll, reckon... It'd be 80-20. Like, that's generous, mate. I, I, think, really? I, think we'd, I reckon we'd be 97%. I don't know. With, with your all pleasing baritone voice, it could be you much two higher. Guys, but girls just want to listen to your voice. Is this like, sexy, the husky voice, or does it sound well, like I have a drug and alcohol problem? There's a niche for everything. <laughs> Josh, I can't stand up till you stop talking. I reckon the breakdown's probably I don't know ninety nine one, and when I say one, I mean like it's butts is nan, and that's it. Yeah, probably. yeah. Grant doesn't know how to use the fucking computer. Claire now, listens. Claire's asleep. Uh, <laughs> now. Did you have a guess? No, I haven't had a guess. Oh, but I know the stats. Oh, the see. stats are this. 0.3% are, wait for it. No. Wait they haven't determined. Concern, yeah. Haven't determined. Oh, they're the non-bi- like they're non-binary. Non-binary. 0.3% of the... That, that must be the worst when you, like, you bust a repeat you out in public. You go, oh, well, shit, what am I going to do? You don't oh. know whether to go left or right. Here we go. That's got to be the worst. I don't know. What would you do if you were non-binary? What would you do? Mate, at my age, I don't get that choice. I generally wet myself before I get there. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you are nearly 70. Oh, well, yeah, you can if you want to hit the fast forward. But you're a very then. you're a very cluey old bloke. You know how to use a drone, a computer. I do, I do. You, you know Facebook. I do. You do very good on Facebook. I do. That's I'm how you to, built your business. I'm a bigger pest than you. What do you mean? That's a big, that's a big call, JB. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a so big call. So 90% men, 90, no, 9% women. Ooh. No, so you were very, closer, wasn't it? No. Yeah, I said fuck all. You were, what are you, 80-20? 
Yeah, so 90, 90.2% male, 9.5% <laughs> women. Shout out the ladies. So if you are a female watching this, nice tits, bud. Yeah, tell your mates. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we did have the NRL grand final uh, last night. We had the AFL grand final the week before. Both floggings, mm. from what I understand. The Swans got beat and uh, Parramatta got beat last night. Parramatta have an absolute shit, fo- shit run. With uh, grand finals, as far as I can uh, remember, they got done by the Storm and the Knights. Yeah, fuck uh, the, in the last twenty years. <laughs> I Reds. saw a good stat um, in those three grand finals. The Parramatta haven't scored a point in the first half of each three of those. I was going to say wow. that the, the the scores in the first half might have been out of three games. It might have been like eighty nil to fucking blot to nil. Yeah, to yeah, nil, yeah. 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 There's something happens in that first half for Parramatta. Um, that they just cannot seem to get out of the gates. But bearing in mind, Penrith are just guns. Oh, nah. They're just too good. Way, way too good. Way too good. They just ran through them like a reserve grade side. It every, was like a every competition, four winners. Yeah, five. Yeah. Five. I four. think they won the SG Ball and the Harold Matthews. Go, so the sixteens, eighteens, New South Wales Cup and. First grade. So for they those, won you, everything. If you're listening to this and you don't know about footy, it's basically the juniors, the younger kids coming through. They've won everything, this Penrith uh, side. So they will be a force to reckon with and have been already for, for some time. And the reserve grade side won the um, state champs. So they they did, well. yeah. yeah. That's great. Then they... Right, the yeah. As well, the Queensland Conference. That's scary. Dominant. The Knights it's, women won. The Knights women Shout won. Shout out the NRLW yeah, side. Good. That, that was a good game too. I uh, I have been critical of female sports in the past, being not as good as the men's, and I still agree with that. <laughs> I stand by that. I, but def- <laughs> I definitely stand by that. <laughs> the Knights won a comp, so we've got to get on the back doing well. But you know what? There's this <laughs> argument about oh, females need to be paid the same as men in sport, right? Who's making that argument? <laughs> Losers. That's who. <laughs> women. Uh, women known for being losers. Shout out to the 9.5% here. Now, my point is here. Uh, if you go and look at who won the AFL competition, Geelong, right? Their biggest sponsor is Ford. Penrith, Oak... Pl- Oak? Yeah, the Chucky Oak Milk. milk, milk yeah. Right? They're their biggest sponsor. Now, for the women's competition, they usually share uh, the major sponsor with the men. So the, the major sponsor is just kicking in a little bit of extra cash. But my question is, if we want women to be paid the same... Where are the female companies? Where's Lorna Jane? Right? Where's yeah, Where's yeah. Mecca? Yeah, Why are they jumping yeah, in yeah. and paying? Like, are they going to pay? Well, how much does Ford pay in Geelong a year? Maybe. Twenty million dollars to 10? be on the front of the jersey, yeah, be yeah. astronomical. So why why isn't uh, Lorna Jane or or, or Mecca yeah. paying twenty million dollars to there? Do they not care about women's sport? I, I I'd Get be willing it. to say that Lorna Jane don't care about women's sport. I'm happy to go on the record and say that. Are you a spokesperson for? Are you I'm, an ambassador? I'm happy. I'm happy to go on the record and say lorna jane sucks how long have you been <laughs> ambassador for lorna jane and how did you get involved with lorna jane uh lorna jane, wait, josh are you, are you sponsored fucking... by lorna jane hey. Lord, Lord. you give him a fair bit of a plug there yeah. Lord, Lord, what have you done to the microphone, the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> carry on i'll fix it hey keep talking i'll fix it yeah no nah, lorna jane big fan of what they do um what do they do can you explain to people who don't lorna jane is women's active wear isn't it yes yeah so uh, there's a lot of good trends have come in recently. Those uh, ones, those scrunchy bum ones. Oh, I don't like Big those. fan of them. Um, one of the best trends that's come in women's fashion recently is the Brazilian cut swimmers. You see a lot of ass cheeks at the beach these days. What have you done? Don't worry about it. What no, you hang on. Take your, take your cord out. <laughs> Jesus. Can you, don't worry take about it. it. I'm not going to let it hang. <laughs> don't let it hang. Undo it. Un- no, undo that. No, that's just going to like that go down. Oh, no, oh, stop. That's gotta get, Undo that's like, this yeah, yeah. and then twist it on. Press the button. Ladies and gentlemen, Bluey's microphone's come out. Hey, Red, what would you be doing today if you weren't sitting here watching this? Uh, I'd probably just be sitting at home watching it on the yeah. live stream. Yeah, it's cost me a now. Now turn that around. No, is that righty tidy? That's lefty loosey, isn't it? Fucking Christ, live. I tried turning it on and off again. <laughs> 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 there you go. That's not going anywhere. That's those big scaffolder arms. All right, now plug it in. I wonder what Lorna Jane would make of this. Oh, they wouldn't sponsor this podcast. Gabe. I'm back. What is this doing on the table? I left it there. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to be my... Um, my, minder. The, my minder. Use a Lambie, a Lambie carer. My Lambie carer. <laughs> so, yeah. So, basically, before Bluey lost it, uh, ladies, if you want equal pay, get your companies to sort it out. But on the scrunchy bum um, <laughs> active wear, that's interesting, right? What, uh, Matt, what are your thoughts as a teacher on that? 
okay. As someone who works with kids. Can I can I also <laughs> suggest that you don't answer that because this is live. Yeah, okay. So um, do you want to just can't cut much on No, we can't cut anything. <laughs> we recorded for three hours and only got forty minutes last time. That's how much we had to cut. Oh, oh no, really? We, we did have to cut um, quite a bit out. Reds rang me panicking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was mainly the Well, I've already told JB there's no racist rants. So so let's hand break off. What do you mean? No, handbrake on. You can say on. anything you want. Off. We're off. live. Yeah, handbrake's off. Yeah, that's cool. Act, yeah. Active wear, mate. <laughs> Incorrectly titled. Seriously, most of it, mate, when you look around here, get down there along Merriweather. It's just glad rat for fat chicks. No, no, no. Look, I'm going to go on the record. I'm not much to look at. And I, <laughs> and I clothe myself accordingly. I worry about these people. I think, fuck me, you spent all your money on clothes and you got no money for a mirror. Yeah, yeah. And that's have, coming, have a look at yourself. <laughs> that's, that's coming from a fat guy with a Fitbit. Yeah, that is. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a fucking Fitbit. That's to get messages from you. Red, it doesn't work because you never messaged me. So oh, why, oh, why, why do you? You, oh, were, you were doing well with your exercise there for a while. What happened? Oh, I made Achilles heel. Achilles, Achilles <laughs> you did heel? your Achilles. Oh, you ever done one? Or did you snap no, it? No, I haven't. No, strain. Same, same, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You fucked, you fucked. How long ago did you... I don't have straining it the same as snapping it. How long ago did you... By the way, you fucked your... How long ago did you strain it? Two years ago. It hasn't recovered. Mate, I can tell you now, when I started doing comedy... I'm out. It's never going to recover. You're going nowhere. Stay here. When you started gigging at the Ori and the Crown and Anchor, like, you were a massive, massive man. Seriously, sort of thing. You what? know, we couldn't get all of you in the pub sideways. What are you talking about? <laughs> what I'm saying is back then, I was 95 kilos. Now I'm not. <laughs> I think you put on like a kilo a year, they reckon. So, yeah. I'm, Especially if you do your Achilles. Yeah, 100%. But, yeah, I'm, I'm 110. I'm, I'm on the man shakes. Sorry, Adam. If you're oh, watching. you're on the man shakes. Yeah, yeah I, I do take them. Yeah, like sort of five, five or six a day for lunch. Yeah, they're good. Oh, you're meant to drink them. <laughs> I don't know if you meant to take them. Are you snor- uh, Are you snoring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what? What do you? So what do you do? So you wake up. Let's. You wake up. What do you do then? You get out of bed. What happens then? Go out the front. I grab the paper. Nice. You still get the paper. That's yeah. good. Yeah, it, it, it can take anything from five to minutes to half an hour to get it out of the glad wrap. If you're listening <laughs> at the paper shop, don't wrap them so fucking tight. They uh, do cellophane they, the shit out of those do, fucking and then things, you can't don't find they? The end and then you start ripping it, and you rip your paper, and then you go fuck it. You just watch the. So that's a terrible morning. Oh, it can be, yeah, yes. Okay, so what do you have for breakfast? Nothing. Good. Have a cup of tea. Nice. Have nice. a cup of tea. Milk? Full cream? Yeah, yeah, milk, full cream, yeah, yeah. They're trying to get people on the oat milk. I, 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 I don't know. Oh, I, what I, milk? The oat milk. Oat milk? Oat milk. How do you get milk out of a fucking oat? You just oat it. You ble- well, basically, you blend it, you pour, put water in it and blend it. I call milk. it milk. And they call it milk. It's it's not terrible, I'll give it that. But I, I'm one for an almond latte because if I have normal milk, I shit myself. And okay, like sometimes when you have a coffee, you cannot be near your toilet. You can't have the home ground advantage yeah, yeah. if you have a milk in your coffee. So you need to be uh, able to have the the, the armor milk and just chill. I, I can't leave home in the morning, and that's probably one of the reasons I'm a bit of a fat bastard. I'd like to go for a walk in the morning because that's the prime time, but I can't leave home till I've had a number two. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's just fucking. How long bad. Do you like that for? How long do you? Oh, it's 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 an old it's an old bloke thing. Like you're you're right now, sort of thing. Like right, you're, you're, it'll happen to you. It'll happen to you. <laughs> no, seriously, how, how old are you, Josh? You're in the same. Just age. turn thirty. Fuck's sake, mate. Thirty. Tough paper round. <laughs> 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 Obviously, I take good care of myself. <laughs> you, you, you you did have a big night last night. Fucking bigger, bigger than what I thought. But I just top myself up as well. This stuff he's gone straight. Well, all you blokes, a young gay baby who was about the same age as Kevin. <laughs> Gabe's still in fucking nappies. Good throwback. Gabe's 24, he told me. 24? He's you 24. And he's from Tamworth. Okay, he's, st- a he's a country bumpkin. He's a good style of bloke. He's, you, not, he's not a... He's, that's man, why he got out of Tamworth. You yeah, bloke, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you blokes still have the ability to fart. At 63, you don't. <laughs> I'm fucking not. I oh know. I oh know. You're looking shocked because you didn't know I was 63. At 63, you do look a little bit older. Josh, Josh, is, 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 Josh, is your old man still with you? He is. I'm surprised if he's got any contact with you. <laughs> but, but if he does, ask him when he was the last time he farted with pants off. So you only fart with pants off. You take them off to drop it. I can't trust him. Can I tell you my favourite? It could be um, a fart. It could be a shit. It could be know. anything. Yeah. Can I tell you my favourite Chris Waynehouse joke? <laughs> I think about it every time I go and piss. He goes, when I turn 40, I just wish that when I stop pissing, I'd stop pissing. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> that's, that's a separate pod- That's next week's podcast. So you Don't get a bit of a dribble, do you? No, no, no. We're talking about we're talking shit. Hey, no, stay, stay switched on here. Let's do, we're not talking about pissing. We're talking about farts. He just fucking <laughs> said <just> pissing. <laughs> let's fo- let's focus here. We're talking about farts and shitting. <laughs> that's next week's podcast. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get you back, Reds. Bring up the pissing. We're doing poos. We're doing poos next week, Red. That's but yeah, that, that's that's the truth. Like I'm 63, and you literally cannot leave home until you've had a fucking. How shit. old were you when you got hemorrhoids? Well, I don't have hemorrhoids. I check every day, like well, fucking three or four times a day sometimes. Yep. But I don't have them. Yeah, that's nice. I do. Yeah, you do they're you? tough. Sometimes you got to wipe from the front and the back. Oh, oh yeah, just to get them. Just, no, to get around them. To get, oh, they get that big. No, they're not that big. It's just a bit no. of a cr- crevasse. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but you're, that's that's okay. It's like you. rendering a house. You've you, got to get it for the right angle. You can come from both ends because you've got long arms. You think of these people in their active wear down at Merriweather, the, the glad rat for the fat chicks. Yeah. At some point in time... How you, are you going to join this you, together? You don't have an arm that's long enough to wipe your ass. What do they do? Don't have a leg to stand on. Well, that's another story. But seriously, you've seen these fat dudes out there. The, fat, fat, dude, fat, the fat dudes in active wear. The fat... The, the fat people in general, at some point in time, you're that rare that your arm can't get around there. What do they do? Oh, okay, yeah. now, okay. what do you have for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your first meal of the day? It's the, it's the shake. The man shake. It's the man so shake. you have one shake? One. And how many calories is that? No idea. I could start. <laughs> I, I, I trust Adam. Ha- trust yeah. the mad dog. Does mad it, dog he doesn't McDougal. own it anymore. Well, he, he's got the abs. He sold it for fucking... 100 mil. 100, no, more. I think more, it was more like, than that. I think it was like 400 it? million. Really? Oh, like, it was some seriously. astronomical amount of Didn't money. He, did he sell it to like Terry Ferguson the other time? <laughs> for, any, for anyone that's listening that doesn't know what the man shakes are, they're, they're meal replacement shakes, aren't they? But they were started yeah. by a guy from where we live, Newcastle. A high-profile sports guy. He did what everyone else was doing. And he, and he started yeah. that, but he sold it recently for really? fucking, mate, like 400 mil, something absurd. So he's yeah. out of work. Hey, well, you should get him on the podcast. I, I would like to get, get him for podcast. a fucking loan. So there's uh, that too. There's 211 calories in one shake. Sorry, yep. mate. I was looking something oh, else up. Cool. Um, man shake sold. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it went for like 400 yeah, mil. 400 what? mil. <laughs> 400 mil. So this bl- which, Adam, which Adam ironically is the same size that they recommend you to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? what is the <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> what? what is the odds of that fucking happening? <laughs> I got more red. You know that. That's oh, outstanding. God, so I, I, I was thinking about this podcast today, and I know that Joe Rogan has protect our parks. Yeah, I just feel like we could have a podcast where, where every every month or two we sit down and we have a couple of beers and we talk about you know your bowel movement. That's what I was. Yeah. And we get into the, the the crux of the situation. I, I, I think that would be nice. I like this. Could be our right. protect our parks. I, I'll, I'll tell you now. You, you've probably seen me talk about this in the past on stage. It is real. Anyone that's out there, I don't have anyone. If you can break down your numbers, if anyone's over sixty, it's real. Go and ask your old man. What? About here we go in the morning. Is he okay to leave, <laughs> leave the house without? No, Dad it's goes. Real. Dad what goes on. To? What if you have to? We believe well, you. Mate, I, 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 look, Red, I I'll, believe I'll, you. I'll be honest. I've tried. I'll have three or four cracks. I'll go down to shops to grab a loaf of bread, fucking sneeze, and shit myself. All oh, right. It's, it's, Pin, it's, pinch oh, off a different real. kind of Deal loaf. You yeah, you pinch the different loaves. I like that. <laughs> so two hundred and eleven calories. Now, how many shakes do you have a day? One. Okay. You, ask, what, ask, ask me the favourite flavour. What's your favourite flavour? Oh, fucking chocolate mint, mate. Nice. Glad, glad you asked. Yeah, no, Good. It's, you, it's the best. Did you buy the man shake? You're really selling it to me. Now, what else do you eat in the day? Uh, I occasionally have a Nutrigrain muesli bar or whatever it is. And, and nu- Nutrigrain? Nutri- yeah. you know, do you mean Nutrigrain? It's just cereal with fucking chocolate on it, but it's That's like fine. a muesli bar. But yeah. what, so I'm trying to work out why yeah, you're packing yeah. it on. Yeah, I'll, I'm trying to work out how you're shitting so much if all you're having is one man shake. What, so you have a normal food after the man shake? I, I might have a problem, Josh. No, just just the man shake and then I eat an evening meal. Like you you rich people or you young ones, you call, <laughs> you, you call it dinner. In my house, it's tea, you know. Like, what are you having for fucking What tea? do you have for dinner? I don't have dinner, we have tea. <laughs> I thought you had tea as your first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a cup of tea, Matt. Oh, okay. Oh, so I'm trying gotcha. to work out where all your calories are coming from because obviously, you know, you... you, you I, I do come from a long line of fat people. Okay. Yeah, so. what, what started that? Oh, I don't know, mate. I've got no idea. I drink, I drink, I try not to drink too much. I only drink once a week. I have 8% Woodstocks. If you're watching or you're alcoholics, get on them. They're fucking awesome. So they like, like the devil's cut, like the real stiff no, ones? No, 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 no. You can do that. You can get up to about 12% or something. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you'd love them. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it looks like you might have had a fucking couple. Oh, like, where yeah. did you go last night? We're just a, a good mate of ours just finished some renovations. Oh, so, right. Uh, we just, uh, just a nice house party. But, uh, what, time yeah. you, what time did you close up? 
Nice six, six o'clock this morning. Oh, so you've been bendering? <laughs> no, I've, 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 I've well, not bendering, but I pulled you, up. You I pulled up eventually. Six. Yeah, so six you, I saw that you're out with your lovely bride, Jessie. Yeah. Did well, she go to six o'clock this morning? No, she went home after the footy. What a bitch! And I stayed with the boys. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's 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 the that's the part you want. Oh, she's an angel. She's the best. She goes, darling, I'm going home. I'll see you when you get home. And I was like. <laughs> See ya. That's She's the best. See you there. I've That's never you. lied to her about like fucking my behaviour. And so it's great. She just like, she knows I'm a bag of shit. It's all good. What advice would you give young men about their relationships, JB? You've been there. You've done that. I just want to tell Josh that I love him. Yep. That's all. But oh, seriously, <laughs> relationships? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I, love used you to too. Tell, I used to tell people, mow the lawn, you know, make them laugh sort of thing, you know. So that's How do you mow the lawn to make them laugh? <laughs> well, <they're, laughs> At the same time? In my case, you could mow it naked. That makes everybody <laughs> fucking laugh. Fuck. Until the sirens start. But no, basically, that that's it, mate. They accept each other. And like, what, what you did, like, you've known me a long time. I'm a little bit loose. I married someone that's actually the opposite to me. Yeah. Tight. And, <laughs> no, no, she can. <laughs> she can go down to the shops and get. The she can leave right before on. she has a shit. Uh, yeah, that's the difference. But no, honestly, and, and it works. That's great. It, it, a thousand percent works. Like you know what I've done since two thousand and thirteen, mate. She's she's cool with it, sort of thing. Yeah, well, let, let's working. let's give people a bit of an idea of how we all met. Now, you guys have met Louis before at the wedding and stuff like that, but I met these guys. I started doing stand up. 2000, what, 13 or 14? Well, maybe 14. Probably, for I think it was yeah, 14. Yeah. Um, at a place called The Crown and Anchor, which is in Newcastle. <laughs> the there. Cranker. The Cranker. They had an open mic night. And I did my first set there. Uh, and I was fucking nervous as. I finished the, the uh, I finished my set with a joke about, um, oh, there's your fucking what's he too. The, oh, my hip flask. Your hip flask. I finished the... the <laughs> I thought you were pointing that. <laughs> the cock on the table. The cockasaurus. <laughs> there's, a a co- there's a few cockasauruses. There's a condom that I had for merch. Anyway, um, and I, I did my set. I finished the show with uh, a joke about um, Ray Warren commenting po- commentating porn, my <laughs> old closer. Always did well. S- still good. Right? Always did. Still, still great good. joke. That's not a cum shot. That's a miracle. That's <laughs> hilarious. Um, and I met JB afterwards. You came over and gave me a card, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you, gave, yeah, you had cards yeah. back then. And, and then uh, I did a few more bits and pieces here and there and then I think I did a spot with you and you in, you introduced me to Reds by putting me in a, a chat group uh, with other comics yeah, and yeah. I was just oh, right. I was just put in there as just some rando and then end up being really good mates with Reds uh, many moons later so that's how we all sort of came together we started doing spots JB would run his own gigs uh, from the Maitland Comedy Connection and hey Josh <laughs> Oh yes! So Holy J- shit! So JV's got a massive tattoo on his arm that says Maitland Comedy Show. Show the, the camera. camera. Uh, this camera just here. Go, uh, yeah. Holy fucking dooly! He's got the Facebook. Facebook. That's like the Hellfish Benny. Oh, you, oh, you, you got, got the, the Facebook, Facebook logo, logo on it. Yeah, yeah. Have wow! You fucking, have you had that mole checked out on your arm there? Fuck. Hey, hey Gabe, they don't get this cool in Tamworth, do they? That's a cracker. <laughs> have you had that mole checked out on your arm? That's not a mole, mate. That's my wife's photo. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but, <laughs> but as Butts tells the story, that's how we met. I I'm being dead serious. That looks like a fucking. That's not a mole. Uh, uh, okay, so it's okay. I have a doctor. He's not six foot eight with a fucking beard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm at, yeah. I'm worried yeah. about you, mate. No, no, I appreciate you being worried about me. No, yeah, worried. That, that's how we met. I was down there actually scouting for talent because I used to run my own things. <laughs> not that sort of talent, Josh. You had a bar hey, scouting uh, for talent. I, I used to run my own thing, and I and I saw you as 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 whilst you were you were very raw. You were very overweight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't laugh, Josh. It's hard to work out when someone's so fucking tall. You don't know. Yeah. How, is, he, is he fat or yeah. is he just like... I was 134 fucking... kilos then. You were yeah, a big motherfucker. 134 kilos. fucking kilos. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I'm 109 now. How strong is that stage at the Ori? Fuck. Yeah, hey, I was reinforced. <laughs> oh, I hit the crowd like that. It was yeah. reinforced. Yeah. It was sticky too. I used to break... Because oh, I used to wear thongs on stage. Pluggers, Pluggers would always break. That was me not having a shit before I left home. Sorry, mate. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, that, that's how we met sort of thing. And I'd met Red Pryor sort of thing. He's probably one of the very first comedians I saw in the Oriental sort of. And uh, he did a bit with me and I, I heckled him back. And yeah, we became friends since. Do you want to, on, on Matt, do you want to get some more beers going? You're not adding to the conversation. So <laughs> <laughs> Might as well contribute by getting some, some more cans, mate. Word, you know, I'll some I'll have a Han Ultra yeah. Crisp, a gluten free beer. You should try one of those, JB. Just a Han gluten free beer. I'm, I'm just that again, red. I can't read that. Super dry, 3 5. I'm yeah. all right, thanks, mate. What? I'm all, I've got to drive. I've got, I'll end, <laughs> I've, got, I've got to work tomorrow. <laughs> 
Have you tried yeah, this? Did you try some of this whiskey last week? Yeah, yeah, I did. So, so Bluey's got here from from a. I ordered some. What's it? What is a it called? Sheepdog. I ordered Sheepdog at the studio. Grouse. Um, I thought it'd be here today, but apparently Dan Murphy's is shut because it's a public holiday. It's peanut whiskey. It's fucking delicious. Yeah. It yeah. tastes like butterscotch, butterscotch, butterscotch. Try a little bit. Snaps. It's peanut whiskey, and I'm um, to sleep over. <laughs> it's really Ooh. nice. It's a sweat. It's not like whiskey. I'm a, I'm, I'm should, not a whiskey they, drinker. They should make that as a deodorant. Seriously. Smell that, Red. <laughs> Wrap your nostrils around this. Wrap your nostrils around that one, Red. No, no, no. Oh, run it over your tongue. Oh. Yeah, it's good. It's good shit. The whiskey, too. What's that oh, called, yeah, Ben? Sheepdog. Sheepdog. Sheepdog peanut whiskey. It's like they all remember sheepdogs. Yeah. Have a sip oh, of this, Gabe. Right. They wouldn't be like this up at 10, would Yeah, you? Gabe. Sniff, <laughs> sniff this oh, bottle. God. Oh. Into a Gabe. That's gold. What's 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 the ethanol rating on it? What is I don't it? Know, it couldn't be that strong. It, it's more. Like, it's almost like a liqueur. Like it tastes like a. Yeah, you know, you know what it tastes like. It tastes like, and this is being dead serious, a, a cock sucking cowboy. Yeah, friend, <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's yeah. like that hazelnut frangelico kind of. It's yeah. fucking delicious. So I bought some for the studio. Awesome. So we're just, gonna get just for the record. I don't know any cowboys. <laughs> you are a cocksucker. I have plenty of <laughs> cocksuckers. So let's um, yeah. So that's, that's how we that's how we met, and, and then JB and I we travel down to Sydney quite a bit. We do some spots down there. Reds, you'd go uh, down there as well. Reds lives yeah, on the Central Coast, I think so it's JB's um <coughs> shows were the reason why we stopped going down to Sydney. Like we'd yeah, have to, yeah, like yeah. we'd have to yeah. go to Sydney to do gigs. He means that in a nice way. Oh, I thought he was yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, JB would run the shows in Maitland and, so and Newcastle. Didn't have to. So we didn't have to go well, to like Sydney. Yeah. My, my thing was mobile, Josh. So if, which you wouldn't know, so I ended up running sixty-two comedy nights, and, and I'd ring him up and I'd go, "Gay mate, how you going? You know, this is what I do, sort of thing. I got to bring a bunch of comedians up, and, and I never ran a shit show. We always had a, yeah. a big name headliner like a Luke Heggie or a Mick Merrill or someone like that sort of yeah, thing. Matt Ready MC, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Ready MC, the real draw yeah. card. <laughs> so, so Luke, Luke Heggie, very good comic. Mick Meredith, very, good comic. Yeah, they yeah. Uh, spend a lot of time on like the footy show and yes, that yeah, type of yes. stuff, and, and, and in the Melbourne Comedy Festival. Yeah. Sorry, go. And you and you'd, you'd ring the venue and you go, you know, well, what's what's it cost, mate? And they go, oh look, you know, it's fifteen hundred bucks, you know, mate, and we want four rooms too. And they go, you're fucking joking, aren't you? And I said, mate, we're going to take that fifteen hundred bucks, and we're probably going to give you a thousand back. Yeah. Said, yeah, you're going to do that? And I said. Watch us when we turn up about fucking four o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> hang, hang, hang. So yeah. you're gonna, they're gonna give you fifteen hundred bucks, they're and get, you're, they're gonna get a thousand back. Yeah, because we get on the piss. Deluxe. No, I thought you were man like. No, no, no. They're no, only we, gonna make a thousand dollars. No, no, they, no. We take fifteen hundred. So this is why you stopped, right? I'd <laughs> pay, <laughs> no, 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 it worked. I'd pay you boys. I didn't make a lot you of money. You never paid me. <laughs> oh bullshit! You never paid me. Right now. Next Wh- week. When are we going to do a show? When are we going to do a oh, show? Mate, Let's do a I, charity show. I am busting my ass to find a venue. If anybody's out there, no, you're, you're not. You hooked up. How with are a- you busting your ass to find a venue when you haven't? Don't fucking shush me, cunt. <laughs> if, 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 if you're hooked up with a pub or a club or whatever sort of thing, you've got a capacity around <coughs> two or three hundred. We will fill your room. We will fill you. We will fill your room. Fill you to the brim. To the brim. Hey, back in the day, Josh, I used to get like, there are no butt shows, they are big shows now, but like, you know, in a bowling club, mate, like mm. bowling, you get 250 people. Yeah. Packed in. Go packed in. Nice. It was packed in yeah. too. I remember uh, up at, where was it? Up at Singer Rugby Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, there were good shows <laughs> up there. Fucking the second one, you guys left me, I thought it was going to be a riot. Sort Why? Of Oh, some of the stuff got a bit edgy. I'm not saying who it was. I'm not who was I'm, it? Oh, because I can't remember because I'm fucking old. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And yeah. I was fine. Yeah, no, you were good. You I, did you MC? Sure was it was it MC one? I did MC one. Yeah, yeah. I well, sucked. you MC I'm such a bad one. MC. Yeah. No, no, you're not. No, no, I hate it. All. No, you go all right. You stick with it. You'll do it. Okay. I don't want to MC. It's the shit job. Yeah. Uh, it, the, the people who MC. No offense, Reds. <laughs> the people that MC. <laughs> straight away was good. They're, they're the comics that are like you know yeah they can get a laugh but. You want to throw them to the wolves because they're not—they're yeah. they're not much chop. Oh. That was actually less offensive than. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it's, it's still pretty offensive. <laughs> it, 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 it's a skill on their own. They—they they don't get the the half hour spot or or the hour spot sort of thing. They literally get three or four minutes where mm. they need to get them on board, engage them, settle them down, and get them focused for what's coming next. So it's a tough gig. Pretty Red, much a teacher. Yeah, pretty much a teacher. <laughs> pretty, yeah, pretty, it is. Pretty much a teacher sort of thing, yeah. So, so uh, there's a bloke on this table right now who's about to start his stand-up career at our live <sighs> show, which is coming oh, up. Oh, no on way. What oh, JB's date? finally going to give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. What date Mate, is our live show? I would smash <coughs> it. I need to figure oh, that out. Do we um, say this? 
13th of November. No, hang on. Let me f- let head. me figure that out. Now, Bluey is going to get on stage for the very first time. Yes. That's which so is good. very exciting. We're excited. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's the yeah. 13th of November. Keep that date free. There's on- It's only at the Newcastle Comedy Club, so there's only 50 tickets available. Right? It's going to be real cheap to get in, uh, but they're going to sell. So uh, if you are watching this, make sure you get onto that shit quick. Um, so you you rang me during – you sent me to, during the week. You sent me a voice message that you're working on some stuff. How's the writing going? Yeah, good. I, I don't know. Like, what you, I mean, I assume – Everyone's process is different for writing, like when you when you're writing stuff. Um, that's I've, how I was I've writing got, six years ago when you wrote your last joke. Oh, that's generous. <laughs> that's generous that you thought it was only six years ago. Uh, also, first joke. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't, sorry, Matt. For it. I was going to say, if you need someone who's not a good comedian to open for, <laughs> uh, you, 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 you seriously, you'll look good. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I take red. Yeah. That's why you take my tour. Did you say? Tour, yeah. um, no, I mean, like I know you. You say you have a drink and you sit in front of your laptop, but like you have a whiskey. Yeah, I, and I have a whiskey. I put on some um, Beethoven and I write. That's that's yeah. how I do it. I found I'm just I'm just making notes in my phone. It's the same if I write when I write articles for when you, for when the you, when you get an idea. Yeah, basically, yeah, I'll just whip my phone out and um, and then you read them back and some of them you just go like, what the fuck? That's not funny. I'm not. <laughs> like, I'm not sure who. Like ninety percent. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> are you reading it back and you haven't yeah. given yourself enough context? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. make any fucking sense. Well, I, I work backwards. Yeah, I, yeah. I come up with the punchline, work backwards. And I, I feel that's how a lot of comedians do it. They yeah. they work out a punchline, they think that something that's funny, they think of it, and then they work backwards. They they find a joke or a story that works with it, and that seems to be the way to do it. There's, so a, there's, there's, a, there's a joke with everything, mm. with everything in life, whatever you do, no matter how serious it is, and you just got to find it. Yeah. yeah. So, so that'd awesome. be great at the live show. Former producer Lordy, now current editor of the Mum and Dad. Show Lordy will also be doing. Yeah, he set. said he's going to do five minutes as well. Didn't so he? Oh, cool. Is that his first as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so awesome. a couple of virgins, and I'll, I think we'll um, uh, we'll get some people to rate them and score the boys. Hammer us. Yeah, absolutely so fucking. It'll be good. Us. Yeah, well, you're, you're very welcome to come along, JB. If you want, I'm, I'm good with cardboard and numbers. <laughs> I, I, I would like to help. Yeah, because that's how you used to do your signs, <laughs> cardboard and. That is true. You used to advertise on cardboard. Core flu. That is 100 percent correct. Core flu. Core flu. Sorry. Yeah, it's for the for the. You'd get the old... It's the um, real estate mm. cardboard. No, the old... Uh, what is it? The old um, election signs. <laughs> you turn around the other way and write on it. That's not a joke, Josh. We'll oh, let, really? We'll let you know when we're joking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. No, that's, that's true. You just go, when they have an election, you just go and snip them. Knock all everything off. Sort of thing. So it's like, like about fucking six bucks a sheet or something. Yeah, yeah. you're a thief. Yeah. I went. I went with MCC. It was a play on Maitland City Council, sort of thing. And, and my I logo. know that. Did you know? No, that? I did not know. That. That's my, some great trivia. My, my logo was black shout and out white. To, shout out to everyone who's watching. It goes. What the fuck is Maitland? <laughs> <laughs> Maitland is a suburb. It's like a shit hole. Should, should we do the tattoo again? No, nah, we've uh, seen a tattoo. And 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 the logo was black and white because the printer at work was too beautiful, <laughs> smart, <laughs> yeah, smart so, ass. <laughs> And you, yeah, all right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, the live show will be good, and I, I, I think you'll find a Is new thirteenth, thirteenth of November. I think oh, it's the thirteenth. I think you'll find a new calling. Yeah, you mean scaffolding's not my calling. Well, I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's anyone's calling, but yeah, yeah, uh, I think you'll no, find I know I'll enjoy it. I, like I, I do enjoy it. Like I'm. I'm I'm seeing a few mates' weddings and it's always good. Like it's a good feeling if you get a laugh. Like, Matt so. put his finger up. He's got something to say. Yeah, mate. Uh, <laughs> how how long are you planning on doing? How much have you got written? I mean, I assume I'm going to do an hour straight off the bat. Sure. I think that's the well, I, you know I, like, is, like, five, is that a Sunday? Minutes. Minutes. It's a Sunday, mate. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's um, I didn't do my first hour until I nah. was on tour. Yeah, I'll be doing five minutes. I five think. minutes, yeah. just sm- and five minutes is a long time. Yeah, too. yeah, it'd be a long time up there. Um, so. I I haven't done a short set in years like every set i do is an hour long and that's why i get to throw in new material in there so i when i work on new stuff i'll do a, a new five minutes like i did this spot uh well i didn't do a spot i did a show up in uh over in new zealand recently and i did a new 10 minutes of duck related rape jokes <laughs> because ducks have these massive penises have nice. you seen a duck's dick not recently, no. Fucking, let me show you this. Are this they the ones with the barbs or something? No, no barbs. I think cats' penises are barbed. Cats barbed. Yeah. yeah. That's such a cat. So a duck's that penis... That is very cat. Cats are cat characteristic. Penis. A duck's penis is... That's a duck's dick. Can I see that? Yeah. See that? Looks like it's, looks like it's shitting. It's huge. Holy hell. Have a look at that. Can you see that? Probably not. If you're listening to this, it's stop huge. the car and Google ducks penis. Yeah, pull over. Yeah, pull over. Hundred percent. Use your blinker. Yeah. So it's this long, like it's like a long bit of fucking fettuccine. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now this long bit of fettuccine. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. 
It's like a big fucking feto. Cold, cold spaghetti. Big cold fet, spaghetti. fettuccines. Oh. And basically what happens is it is just so long that it works its way through the duck's female vagina. Now, the vagina of a duck, right, is like, it's cavernous. It's like a, it's like a, a maze. Like a rabbit warren. Like a rabbit warren. <laughs> or a duck warren. <laughs> is, is, is it that long? Is it responsible for the expression lining your ducks up sort of thing? Like you could get three or four ducks, ducks in a row. Get all your yeah, ducks yeah, in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how long it is. But the vagina is also long. So the duck has to... So ducks rape each other. That's how they have sex. They rape each other. That's how the men have sex with the women. That's rape, right? And that's why the female's duck is cavernous and like a maze to avoid being raped by the other ducks. But these ducks have developed big long cocks to rape the female ducks. Anyway, it was a 10 minute bit um, <laughs> and it was fucking awful. Got no laughs. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for the other nine. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was just shit. But we try these things yeah, to see if they yeah. work That's because a- in my mind, duck rape, hilarious. Yeah. Right. But for whatever reason, it just didn't work. But we'll go back to the drawing board and see if we can come out with something for that. There's but definitely something there. That's oh, mate, that's, and, and, that, and that's going to happen to you. Even in your five minutes, you're going to be going, oh, this is shit. But, hey, man, you're still there. Yeah. So you, you just got to punch on. Yeah. No, I'm excited. Like you say, you, you're up there. You've got to commit. And you fucking yeah, <laughs> it yeah. goes horribly. It goes horribly. Yeah. So. I'll tell you what will work for you is that you've got that natural sense of humour. So you can fall back on that. You can chat with people. So if you have to, like, break, it, break down your bits or whatever, it's not working. You can use that to... To talk yeah, to cool. Yeah. yeah, no, it'll be good. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Hey, listen, and if it all goes wrong, just go. Hey, did someone say KFC? I've seen <laughs> that work on the telly. <laughs> and you just sitting down with Jim from the counts, fucking banging nuggets, <laughs> <laughs> banging nuggets, banging nuggets. Have you seen the ad? Yeah, it's a good ad. You reckon? Yeah. 100%. Is that what you enjoy at this point in your life? Yeah. yeah. Banging nuggets. Banging nuggets. No, no, I don't eat the shit, mate. I can't afford it. No, just just man shake. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <laughs> retarded. Uh, I can't afford KFC. Tell me, retarded. Retired. Oh, sorry. Retired. Oh, sorry, 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 oh. sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be doing a live show and that'll be great. And you're both very welcome oh, to come awesome. along. That'd be cool. How yeah. did you get onto the Newcastle Comedy Club? Uh, well, I don't know. We just sort of... Uh, editor Lordy reached out, didn't editor, you? Editor, producer Lordy said, yeah, well, let's find this just a small venue. How, how is it going as a venue? Do you have a clue at all? Or you no, I, I, I know the guys who, yeah, yeah, you know, run it. Yeah. Uh, and apparently they're doing really well. Yeah. Good. Good night. Both my brothers went there for one night. Oh, that's cool. Didn't even tell me. <laughs> Are they the same two brothers that uh, Red? Oh, so Red's um, <laughs> Red awesome. smashed my brothers in the, his speech at my wedding. Uh, he absolutely hammered it. It was outstanding. Them. So one brother, Darcy, who I want to get on the show. Yeah, he's an absolute legend. Darcy would yeah. love it. Too. He'd love it. Yeah. He'd love it. Um, I've been taking him to the gym. Yep. And he's very nervous at the gym. He doesn't want people looking at him. And so you bring it up on a po- podcast that goes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> millions. If um, you see him at the gym, stare, yeah, stare yeah. right. Maybe get your phone out. So what I did was I went to the gym with my merch on, big photo of me face on the front, just to sort of take it away. That's how beautiful person I am, <laughs> and um, and to try and sell some. <laughs> and and he, uh, but he's doing good. He's because he's got this. He's like a big dude. He's 150. He's a, he was 120 kilos. He started going for runs and going to the gym. He's lost seven kilos in three weeks. Fuck. Wow. I don't know how, but he's six foot eight, giant dude, and very. Uh, he's just he doesn't have much like strength strength, but just like that fucking full like just chimp strength. Yeah. Just just you, weird chimp strength. Yeah. Like he could just. Like I believe it's called mong, mong strength. I was going to say retard strength, yeah, but I didn't yeah. want to say retard twice in two minutes. No, that's what it is. Let's not call a spade a spade, mate. It's, so it's not retired strength. It's not retired <laughs> strength. It's retired it's, strength. There is, there is no strength when you're retired, mate. Let me ask you this, JB. Yes. You were around in the 70s. I was. How old were you in, in 1970? 1970, I was 11 years old. Okay, let's go to 1970. Seven, 1977, Seven. 1978. 18. When you were 18 years old. What was life like when you were going to pubs and clubs? Mate, i, I got to tell you, it was... Far, far, far easier than what it is nowadays. The the, the pubs generally shut at ten o'clock, mm-hmm. but then you got in your car and you just drove to a party or, or a club or whatever because there was no random. Hang rest. on, you drink you drank Drove. That's yeah, like sta- oh, that was standard yeah, procedure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you were allowed to do that. Was it? it wasn't you fucking were. Was <laughs> when did it become illegal? Oh, well, it's 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 been illegal probably since the dawn of time. But I don't. I think RBT is coming around about eighty three. Okay. So were the coppers pull you over, or are they just like doesn't don't matter. Oh, yes, they found you. But, yeah, there were so many of us, mate. They couldn't pull us all over. Everyone was blind. Everyone did it, yeah. Yeah, right. But there was was also, there was no AIDS or any of those things sort of thing, you know. (laughs) 
Well, there wasn't. Coppers weren't doing random AIDS tests. <laughs> no, well, What's well, the connection well, between well, AIDS and drink driving? What I'm saying Blue is... Who needs to know? You can go to the pub, you can get as hammered as you like, jump in your car and pull the pants down on whoever you could fucking oh, grab. Oh, okay. Yeah, on whoever you could grab. Yeah. So it's rape, it's drink driving and AIDS. Not, and no, possibly I never, I, never, I never grabbed a duck. Never grabbed a duck. Good, but basically, it, it was just an easier time, and, and it didn't it didn't matter that <laughs> it's what, for the it's, AIDS. It's a no, better time. It, it didn't matter what you wore. There was there was basically two or three channels on the TV, sort yeah. of thing. And it was simpler just, times. There was, there was, it didn't matter what you wore. There were three channels on the TV. No, He's it's, saying it's, it's a simpler time. This is time. a continuing conversation. There was there was no social. You wear anything. There was only three channels. You, you would see. Oh, we'll just keep talking about yeah. this Muppet. I'm mate. We're not going to say retard a third time, or point, but. <laughs> Or AIDS. <laughs> it, it was just it's easy. Like, AIDS you, you'd, you'd see your mates of a weekend and then you'd, you'd go to work and there was all this sort of thing. And it was not like, oh, look, I had breakfast. Here's a photo of me breakfast. Yeah, you wouldn't take photos of your breakfast. There's only three chances. Here's, here's me renovation. Here's a photo of me renovation. Oh, look at me. It's a fucking sunset. Social media does suck. It fucking sucks to life. Yeah, it's social media. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's your business. But I wouldn't have a business without it. So, yeah, I love social but media. But the content is just like, I hate yeah, it so yeah, much. Like, like, yeah. like I reckon there's about three percent belong on social media in terms of the content and the way they create it. Yeah, and your your uh, your little thing is one of them. As is your daily blue, that. the daily blue. Go and yeah. check it out on Instagram but, right but, now. But most of the That's stuff is little shit, thing, mate. You know, it is like ninety eight percent. And it's that attitude. Garbage. Johnny told me when I was first starting out comedy, he's like, "Don't do social media, mate." <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? That's what you said. I, I used to say, mate, you, you you've got some skills, you've got some little, you've got a presence about you. Get in get into T V or radio. Mm. And I said more than three channels now. To his credit used to say, I'm gonna make it on the internet. I don't want to go on T V. TV's the worst thing you could do. You don't know what's going to happen next for you, man. Like I'm not you, going on TV. You don't. Yeah. Well, why would well, I do that? No time would I you're on radio. <laughs> radio is the shit. Is any if anyone's listening out there in Radio Land, I hope you die, you cunt. <laughs> radio is the worst. Like you Can used we to get work some numbers radio. on those I worked, for, I worked for Triple M Newcastle. Okay. For, yeah. Uh, terrible. Uh, a lot of good people. I liked it. You but said to me, a lot of wankers there. There are a lot of wankers too. But there's a lot of good people there. But I liked it, but it's also like it's not. Truly expressive. You, you you sort of think you get in there because you want to like express yourself. And but but my, <coughs> my advice was based on a bloke who is sixty three that was born in nineteen fifty nine. And and the the truth is, you are on radio, you are on TV, you're on the twenty twenty two TV and radio, not the for one sure. that I grew yeah, up with. For sure. Yeah. So there's been that evolution, and that's for me. That's what I've had to do. And and most people my age, they don't have that presence on social media that I do, or know how to play social media. Mm. You may certainly do sort of thing, and I take my hat off to you, or I would, except it's got smart artist on it. I was going to say you didn't <laughs> so know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was interesting because I understand, I understood where you were coming yeah, from, yeah, but yeah. it's just the way of the world, and you need to be oh, uh, sure if you aren't in front of people on TikTok and on on Instagram and all that type of shit. Like you just may as well not even exist. You don't exist. It doesn't no. matter how good you are, what you do, whether you lay bricks or you're a school teacher or or yourself. If nobody knows, what's the point? The ABC hit me up. They wanted me to be on a TV show. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> they wanted me to be on a TV show. I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, it's, a, it's a game show, right? Where they get a celebrity and they get a contestant and you play the game, <laughs> right? And whoever wins can win like 20 grand or whatever it is. Do we know the show name yet? Uh, I don't know what the name was. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Uh, I could look it up. It doesn't matter. On the ABC. And so I was like, I, I just said straight away, because I just don't do anything for free. I was like, fuck you, I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> I said, how much to pay? And she said, oh, it's not paid. I was like, oh, okay. She goes, you're the contestant. <laughs> well, the well, I'm not even the celebrity. Yeah, yeah. Again, 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 you're spot on. For what about fucking poor old me? Mate, oh, I, I could funny. work every day if I did free, but last time I looked, free comes after two and just before four. I don't want to be, I don't want to stand up myself, but no, I'm not a contestant. No, no. I'm a fucking star, <laughs> JB. This, 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 you are, you are. I this, am a star. This is your living. Star. You've got greyhounds to support, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a diva. I'm a diva, bro. <laughs> you can't go down to the pet food shop and say, give me some greyhound food. I've been on the fucking free ABC show. <laughs> oh, mate, don't give a fuck. No one gives a fuck. I am yeah. a diva and I'm and Redzy knows this because I was banned. He got me a gig at one of the, at his venue and I was banned from the venue afterwards. <laughs> only one? Only one. Only one I've ever been banned from. It's Is it the only one? Only one I've ever uh, been banned from. What's it called? The fucking... Oh, you're giving them a plug. 
I'll give him a plug. It's a kind of the thing. <laughs> not, yeah. not the beach cover, is it? No, nah, what's it called? Fucking um, Tukli RSL. RSL. Oh, oh, what a shit hole anyway. Oh, yeah. Tukli it, is it, a shit hole. It's like the beach cover. It's spelled different. It's opposite, isn't it? It's sort of I hope way. Vladimir Putin just misses with his nuke and it hits fucking Tukli. Yeah, they can fucking um, bomb that joint in the ground. Please. And so what did you get banned for? So I do a show there and they wouldn't give us any beers. Oh. I was driving Great and there move. was like 300 people, right? It was one of my first shows, like I did, uh, the first show I ever did on the Central Coast by myself. This is 2019. And I'm just, I just couldn't believe they were so rude about the beers. Like, it's not a big deal. Just, I worked in pubs, just give fucking people a fucking beer. How hard is it? And then they charged us for everything, you know? Like, Claire wanted to get a Coke Zero. They charged us three bucks. Not a big deal. Just fuck, give the fucking poor woman a fucking Coke Zero. Christ. Anyway, so I get on stage and then just Start carry on. Off. Carry on. I was like, Good. fuck this venue. I fucking hate it. The bar staff are cunts. <laughs> Let's all fucking leave. No one stick around. We'll go down the road. Fuck them all. And then, Did um, you really? Yeah, and then the management gets like an email on the Monday saying, Isaac Butterfield is no longer welcome at the venue. <laughs> oh, fuck them. Fuck Tookley, man. If you don't know what Tookley is, it's on the Central Coast. Yeah, give it a miss. It's fucking shit. The Central Coast is shit. <laughs> we, we, we've done a few gigs in there, haven't we, Red? Why do you live on the Central Coast, Matt? It's a beautiful spot. Beautiful spot. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's the... Um, it's the arsehole of everything. Is, isn't the Central Coast like Terrigal than all the other fucking roundabout yeah, towns? Yeah, yeah. Wyong fucking yeah, roundabouts. Like yeah, the sorry, Wyong, sorry, Matt. The further north you go, it's just gross. God, I'm glad you've added to the conversation. <laughs> 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 but I, I I did a gig down there. I opened for a hypnotist uh, some t- time back. Remember Craig Ennis? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he was a headliner and I opened he's a for lawyer. him sort of thing. And my opening line was he's going if you're not like a local. Craig was the hypnotist. No, no, the, he was he was the main act. Wayne, he went Wayne and, stu- he went and studied he law. He he's now a lawyer. He is. Mm. But let's get to the little punchline. Oh, I was just giving, so Craig, Alan, just giving the, Craig a shout. It, it was very, very new for me sort of thing to open up like that. Craig was in radio. Spot. He was doing 104.5. On uh, the Central Coast, and then he did comedy, and then he went and did. Uh, he was a lawyer. Sorry, go on. He's changed his last right. name as well. Yeah, he changed his last name as well. So, okay. so the opening was good. But he was a very guys. funny dude. <laughs> yeah. fucking dude. Very He's good good oh, mate. <laughs> so the opening was good. Hey guys, how you going? If you're not a local, if you're not from fucking Turkey, there's a whiteboard marker over there at the bar. <laughs> you give yourself a neck tattoo and get fucking ten percent off. <laughs> and Someone tried to fight me in the Turkey <laughs> um, car one? park too because oh, yeah. I did a joke about. Like children being raped by priests, right, and yeah. he was raped by a priest. And I don't I've know got why. That video. I, do you? I don't know why he's raped. Yeah. He was an ugly dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good looking child. Good looking child. I bet he was asking for it. He was. He totally was. He's wearing. A short was he dressed like a slut? He was such a little slut. <laughs> <laughs> he was such a slut. <laughs> I remember that. Hey, that got real quiet. And he got very angry. He offered me out in the car park. The car. Yeah. Should have, you should have kissed him. <laughs> they removed him. They, they removed him from the venue. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had to like run. Me and Claire had to run down the road. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> We've had a few backdoor gigs. I was going to say, yeah, he's had, had a few, few backdoor. Back were you up in Coffs Harbour? Yeah, we were yeah, Coffs, yeah. when we the bikies try the bikies all turned up to the Coffs Harbour gig and Fuck, tried yeah. to offer us all out. Yeah, what was your right. recollection of that? So <laughs> I remember you had before the gig, after. No, no. So after, <laughs> and then um, some people had walked out because they didn't like the joke. It was an Aboriginal joke, Matt. You can tell people that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't recall the joke. And um, It was great. And tell then the they joke. came back. With but can I, sorry, can I say that they laughed at everything else? Yeah. Jokes yeah. about Muslim people, jokes about fucking trans people, everything. But as soon as I do a joke about Aboriginal people, these two ladies walked out. And I was just like, come on, mate. And like, you got to chat to them after and you got to say, like, you guys laughed at this stuff and this stuff, but, and they were pretty gone by then and they were saying oh they were fucking blind drunk too yeah. so they were carrying on like pork that chops but anyway help. sorry go on. but then we saw them come back so they left and then we saw them come back with two dudes two pretty scary looking dudes <laughs> fully <laughs> tattoos one percent tattoos um tattoos all everywhere and then um we went downstairs and there was a petition where we were sitting and your the boys from your mates were there not not a petition petition like not a, like a riot but like a, like a partition <laughs> oh, all right so we're not using all the letters no today. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta guess the rest this, this is not the wheel of fortune is it i've pulled up the wrong show i'm fucking out <laughs> so you, so you, we were on one side and all the boys were there and you you had been so overly nice saying like this is how it is this too is nice i should have shut the fuck up oh and then Every time I went and looked around the petition, there was more and more of them there. Fuck. And I was just going, oh, fuck. And your mates were just carrying on because they were drunk as well. And then we were kind of like, like we've got to get out of here. 
and we really one needed. of them one of them took their shirt off remember um yes. someone said someone said one of your mates said um just tackle a butsy if you, if you don't <laughs> i will and then he, he took his shirt off it was his wife that was i think oh, that's right he, he took did his shirt too. off and said all he is get out now i'm gonna kill you all <laughs> and, then, um, and then that we were just like all right we better and all these dudes started walking in and walking past they and walking in and they were just and doing laps yeah they were doing laps so and then position. this other lady was right in my face and claire's there did you oh, i can't remember what she said she said something so fucking funny claire said um something about this lady's teeth like she was like i'll knock the rest of your teeth out or something oh. like that it's like she nailed it yeah. and, and then, it won't take but, fucking long and then afterwards she was like i was gonna glass her i was like no you can't glass people she's like i was gonna glass her. i was ready to glass her. i said you cannot glass people you will go to jail yeah you can't do that she's like i had to defend my man um one of the, one of the blokes uh who was there was ready to punch on one of my uh, guys i know he was ready to punch on everyone else calmed him down but it, it was getting pretty close pretty heated and and then um one of the tour manager kai he went over to the security and said mate we need to sort this out and they go hey out of our hands i was like oh, this fuck. is your job this is your job mate but yeah no that was that was all over one fucking joke to get out though we we had to go upstairs yep. through the kitchen and then like a kitchen that wasn't being used and then back down like uh, an elevator maybe Back yeah, yeah, elevator, through an elevator, and then to our, straight to our car. And I think Kai pulled or whoever it was pulled the car around. Fuck, that sucks. And so we but, were there. It was Ryan uh, Gallagher. Yeah. He was also there, and he backdoored it. He was like worried that this whole thing would come back on him. He was worried the Daily Mail would um, get a hold of the story and run the story okay, that he yeah. was involved with the but, bikies and a, a, a racist joke. It's very simple, and, and you've touched on it. Comedy lives on the edge. I don't know even, where the fuck your edge is. It wasn't <laughs> even that bad. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't even that. She walked out after, like, I've got this bit in my show where I talk about uh, the ideas of, of, of why someone should be cancelled and how racist of material can you do. Not a racist joke, but yeah, race-based yeah. material you can do. And it's called the cancel culture cake yep. where you build from the bottom and you get to the most horrible shit at the, st at the top, right? So we go through that. And the first joke isn't even that racist, isn't even that rude, and they walked out of this. And that joke is it's easy to make jokes about Aboriginal people because they write themselves. Even the word corroboree has the word robbery in it. Not that bad. Pretty what? racist. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a fucking play on words. If I you mean, can't, if you cannot just, deal with just that. Just because it's a play on words doesn't mean it's not racist. If you can't deal with that, don't come to a fucking comedy show. And don't laugh at all the other shit about other yeah, people yeah, no, and then I, can't deal with yourself. I, you I, fucking I, sook. I'm on your team. 100%. You, you remember Decker Vale? De Decker's, Derek Vale, yeah. yeah if, if he, he's an Aboriginal. He, he grew up in Woodbury. That sort of thing. He gets up and his whole thing, he can do half an hour worth of black jokes. Yeah. And people laugh yeah. because he's black. Yeah, you know, like what are we fucking can gay people only do gay jokes? Can one legged people only do one legged jokes? It's, it's ridiculous. Bullshit. It's ridiculous. They're jokes. And yeah, it was all over. And so the dude who kicked this this whole nearly punch on off was one of the girls' husbands who wasn't even in the show. No. Yep. So by the time all the bikies are there, it's fucking Chinese whispers, and I've had a racist yeah. rant on stage. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, like this is the thing. Like I'm telling these jokes with a big smile on my face, like oh that's fucked up. Like this is you know. It just does my head in. I, I just, I, I, but then, so I think that that maybe I've gone too far, right? With this type of shit. And maybe I need to have a bit of a look at myself. I go over to um, Florida and I see Joe Rogan live and I see Tony Hinchcliffe and I see um, Hans Kim. Ha Hinchcliffe's an animal. Fucking hell. These cunts turn it up to the next level. And that's why my next show, the next year, when I, when I do it after next year, after next year, the year after, the one I'm going to write. I'm just going to go full ham. Yeah. I'm going to go full fucking ham. I'm not going to pull it back on anything. I'm just going to go full ham. And if you don't like it, don't come. Do it. It's exciting. Do it. I love it. I'm really, I'm really pumped to just really push the boundaries of this shit because it just does my fucking head in that people think the appropriate response to a comedian telling a joke is to try to punch on with them. It's 
Like you fucking child. It is honestly just a joke. You don't walk into an art gallery and go, "Oh, I don't like that painting. I'm going to fucking burn it." You mm. just, you just, you know, you're going to what? You're going to burn it. Not I said, "Spurt it." Not, not everything's for everyone, and, and it's it's comedy. Back in the day with Maitland Comedy Club, I've had them walk out, sort of thing. Well, fucking, keep well, that's good. Walk yeah, out, fuck walk off. Out, yeah. yeah, it's all good. You're yeah. walking out. Go and tell someone. It's probably going to bring two tables yeah. walks back in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Um, Akash. Akash Singh. He had a he put up a video the other day of this woman. Oh, f- isn't it funny when you say woman? It sounds like there's so much venom in it. This woman, yeah, um, in the crowd as he walked out, he had the camera on her because mar- apparently she had done something in the night earlier. And she's like, as soon as he walks out, she's like, boo, sexist, boo, <laughs> like, literally, <going>, boo. <laughs> it was fucking funny to watch. It was great sounds, to watch. Sounds like a recent Seinfeld episode. Yeah. I watched. Uh, you watched a recent Seinfeld episode? One that I recently watched. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, I still watch it, man. Yeah, yeah. I do too. It's yeah. a great uh, yeah. show yeah. to watch while you're eating dinner. One of the best shows, Seinfeld, without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, I, 100%. One of the most underrated. I've said this before. Everybody loves mm-hmm. Raymond. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, show. that's good. Great good, show. Good. Great. Have you watched every other Of course I have. It's a fucking. It was always on Channel Ten. You know who and gets a bit good of comedian and a good comedian. Ray Romano. And Ray and Romano. Show a very good comedian. Yeah. You know who 100%. makes me watch these shows? Little Dicky. Little Dicky. Little Dicky. She makes me watch those shows. So uh, they, she knows what's going on. She used to watch these shows nonstop, the and uh, she's uh, she's pretty fucking switched on with the stand up. She's actually been writing parody songs. At the moment, <laughs> oh, no. that's unreal. So we're working on. A, we're gonna, we think we might work on an album. Can Claire sing? Claire yeah, well, Claire used to Claire used to sing. She was in a band. I did not know that. Yeah, she what used to sing. What was the band called? Oh fuck! Can you make a name up? Uh, no, no, uh, it's the best name. I know what it is, but I'll hang on. I'll call her. Oh, she's because no, nah, she's she, she's up. <laughs> that, that always works in a comedy show too, mate. That if someone gets a phone, grab their phone. Answer it. She might be she might be asleep because she's having Still, having naps. She's gonna make a good old person. That's a hell of a nap. That's a fucking good sense. You have reached the message board. It was called business as usual. <laughs> 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 it was the best name. That's that. great. It's the yeah, best name, yeah. business as usual. And she, yeah, she used to go to the pubs and, and sing in pubs and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. When, yeah, when she was jazz band, when she was like she funny. was like sixteen at yeah. the time. So That's she, really cool. Yeah, yeah. So she was uh, she was belting out about now the tunes and now she's belting them out on the old skin flute. Good on her. <laughs> was it like a cover band or was it like <laughs> on the skin flute? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, karaoke on the microphone. Uh, uh, Big karaoke on the old uh, the old boy. Johnson. <laughs> but how long have we been going for? We need to go over to Patreon surely soon. What's the what's the time on this baby? We need to go over and talk some real business. Come on, Gabe. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Fucking Gabe, you got one job, mate. You got the security at Coffs Harbour. <laughs> Get involved. Fifty six. We got four more minutes. Four Matt, more ready? Minutes. You tell me. What am I telling you? You tell me all about it. The Patreon. No, you tell me Welcome something. Subscribe. Tell me something. Patreon's a dollar a month. You get to hear the uh, the stuff we can't put on Spotify. So make sure you go over to that Isaac Butterfield on Patreon. Check it out. Um, Reds, what are you doing with your life now? I'm um, doing a lot of caravanning, loving caravanning. I've, I've seen that, and your yeah. and your beautiful wife Raquel, if we can mention her name, has a dollhouse company. Oh yeah, yeah so she's making refurbishing um, dollhouses. That's really cool. Yeah. So if you if you're a bloke out there or a lady who has a daughter, mm. what are these? What's the, or son or a, or a dudes can have dollhouses yeah, too. This, this JB, would, would you allow it, your Ke- son? Kevin had a dollhouse. Um, <laughs> That's an inside joke. We won't <laughs> we won't delve into that. Uh, her Instagram's inspired dollhouses. Yeah, go. <laughs> Do you reckon? Um, she's um, she's doing them real slow though. She's doing, she's doing them at her own pace, so she's um. So don't follow her. So don't don't, don't oh. message her. Don't, don't re- give her any business. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> um, no. But they are they are honestly gorgeous. Yeah, she's they, she's getting such good feedback from, which is really that's good sick. And, good stuff. Um, yeah, so she's just refurbishing, just getting old ones or un, unloved or unused ones, and just doing them up and making them a bit like boho. Bit like you. Bit like yeah, a passion yeah, yeah. project. Yeah, a bit like you're that. unloved, <laughs> unwanted, <laughs> and she made you into a beautiful young man. Yeah, yeah, you're a bit boho a bit too. Extra. Yeah, I am. You're right. Yeah, she's yeah. yet to renovate him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, there's one question I want to ask, but I'm going to save it for the Patreon part of this podcast. I want to know when you you were talking about going out, we were talking about going out before and when you were a younger man. Back in the day. I want to know all about trying to pick up women oh, really when you're a younger man. But I want to know in the Patreon exclusive part of this podcast. So head over to Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. Do it right now. 
Um, we're encro- encroaching on 2,000 Patreon people. Hey! hey so let's job. hit that number. Uh, the Patreon. Ladies and gentlemen, go and check out The Daily Blue on Instagram. Smart Artist Promotions, Matt. Inspired dollhouses. <laughs> Inspired dollhouses. There you go. Go and check out those babies. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Any la- any final words? No, nah, yeah. it's taken to the Patreon, baby. Yeah, it's just smart artists. I, yeah. dro- I dropped the promotions. The two words work better. Oh, you got rid of them? Yeah, yeah it's still there in the business name, but it's just smart artists. It's on the hat for those that can So what do, you, what do you offer? What do I offer? I will give you the best social media <laughs> event photography services Ever. You and, are really good and, at And, and, and if you're really stuck and you want me to MC or auction some stuff, I'm really good at that. You nice. do private investigating to who to hand. I do that as well. So well, if you call looking through people's bedroom windows, private investigating, yes. Stay there, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I set him up perfectly. Thank you very much for joining us, ladies and gents. We'll see you next time. Toodle au revoir. Go over to Patreon. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I've heard that somewhere else on a Thursday. Yeah, sure.